whilst playing chess, mm -hmm. um, a wonderful European emigre, chess player in the scene, gave me a very battered book, paperback book, and said, you have to read this. And it was a copy of Schindler's Ark. Oh, wow. A week later, Stephen Zalian says, we want you to read this. And it was a script of Schindler's List. And I said, Stephen, I've just been, I mean, uh, who will believe me? Who will believe me? Um, but, but that's the kind of uh, ghosts that, that sometimes I think are just pushing me around a bit. Um, and uh, so I read, the, I read uh, Schindler's List, which was shattering, and, uh, uh, by Stephen. And I, um, I met Spielberg. And at first, I was very nervous about accepting the role. And Stephen asked me into his office. And, I, and I'm always very keen to understand uh, my narrative function in a film. With Simon, of course, it was clear. The bringer of truth, Simon. And um, with uh, Isaac Stern, I had a word in my pocket. And I said to Steven Spielberg, what do you think the narrative function of my role is. Now, hum some Hollywood directors would go blank and look at my lips to see what language I'm speaking. <laughs> um, but Stephen said, he's the witness of the film. And I said, I have a word here in my pocket that says conscience. And we shook hands, the witness and the conscience of the film. And I love being with Stephen next to the monitor because there was a particular exodus of the Jews from Krakow, which was filmed by Stephen, um, all of it beautifully shot in, in black and white, as you know. And I would watch uh, real live uh, actors, a lot of Israeli actors we had in the film. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful, wonderful, extraordinary performances. And uh, I saw the actors uh, and, the, uh, and our own extras leaving the ghetto, and I looked at the monitor and there it is in black and white. And it's, I'm, I'm watching a piece of a maestro recreate documentary footage, yeah. flawless. Even the camera was in the right, sort of slightly wrong, mm -hmm. if you see what I mean, place. Yeah. They looked like snatched moments. Uh, and in his genius, he often pulled the camera away from a moment of atrocity so that the audiences are almost wriggling in their seats trying to see what they've just missed. But he takes the camera away absolute maestro and I remember some takes that he would film and he would turn to me if I was by him by the monitor and with 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 joy in his face rather like Simon Wiesenthal he said that's in the movie that has to be digested by an audience that has to be witnessed that has to be seen and uh, it's very brave and, and, and pure of him not to sentimentalize one frame of that film.